cute here. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Say hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Today I have a guest, and she's so happy. Turning 11 months. We are this big. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. That was my daughter. Guys, I'm so excited. She's turning uh, 11 months tomorrow. I can't believe it. Um, yeah. She's turning 11 months and I've been with her. Uh, uh, I've, I've been with her every single day since the 3rd of August last year. It's like you are just attached to, to that baby since birth. So I can't imagine the first day um, I will be away from her. Let's say, especially when when I think of uh, how I'm gonna get her of breastfeeding. I don't know. I don't know if I will survive not seeing my daughter for in for a day. She she makes my my day just bright. Every day at work, I have something to look forward to going home. And uh, yeah, she's turning 11 months. So I have a birthday coming up in August and I don't even know how to plan my daughter's birthday. Um, 3rd August, I don't know. Maybe I will have a photo shoot for my daughter and uh, my husband. There is no compromise. Uh, he's on, on this first birthday, it's very special. So. You have to be here, darling. Whether you are working or not, you should just find a way. So, yeah, this is not about my daughter's birthday. Let's um, let's discuss the the whole thing of in laws. How to deal with in laws? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I quickly went to grab a cup of coffee because child, the weather is still not weather weathering in Hindu. <laughs> it's cold, guys, but um, today is a bit better. This whole week was bad, like every morning it was negative something. Yeah, but today is better. So, married women and... Uh, men as well if you men even watch my videos let's gather here and discuss the topic of dealing with your in-laws sorry don't have your hopes high if you are coming here to to hear all the negative things about in-laws then i guess you are on the wrong platform because that's not what i'll be discussing uh i want us to to talk about how do you really deal with your in-laws what are in-laws in-laws are your husband's family your wife's family uh, if you are if you're a guy so that's basically it so them being your spouse family they are also part of your family in most cases we just we just see people complaining that in-laws here in-laws that they are not good people but the question is how do we really how do we really handle relationships with our in-law i i'm still new to this whole marriage thing and uh, let me not say i know it all because but i haven't experienced uh, negativity with the in-laws the, and this is how how i go about it Number one, your in-laws are your husband's family, meaning um, your husband knows them better than you think you do. So your your position in the in the family should not be here. You should just be here. By being here, it means uh, 
if there are scandals or whatever is going on in that family you should not take part <laughs> um, if there are people beefing or whatever do not take part your role as a wife or as a husband is just to um, to advise your husband privately even if you are healing things you do not need to say to pick up a phone and say i heard about this and this this no just talk to your husband that i think we should do this about this do not be here be here so don't always try to interfere another thing when it comes to in-laws in-laws are not really bad people because you are an in-law yourself when we talk about in-laws we always think about the other side of the family but you are also an in-law in-laws are not bad people as long as you are trying to stay in your lane you know why you are married you know the person you are married to so don't go on marrying the entire family <laughs> stick with your husband um, but do your things in private advising privately and just try to to be there for for him or her as a husband when it comes to 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 building a family together or let's say you guys have a house or wherever you are staying in order to build a strong relationship with your in-laws <coughs> do not be that that wife or that husband who only want your your side of the family in the house no 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 i have seen that i have seen so women like that i have seen women like that who who do not want the husband's family in the house but if you go in her family is just there like all of them they will be there but one person from the side of the of the of the husband's family if they come in there it's issues they are not wanted they are being mistreated do not be that person uh, some of us grow up in extended family house, homes and um, i grew up in a house of uh, let me just tell you that our capacity is 40 goes over 40. so uh, if i am to prepare a meal at my previous residence uh, the porridge there should be at least omali where you are six if it's less yeah that's how i grow up so you learn to to accept uh, to, to accept people from all sides of the family you learn to share the little that is there with the whole family you you just learn to to work with people uh, not to look sides like Oh, memorial here yeah, oh memorial so if you really are married just try to if your sister is in the house it's fine if a sister of the husband is in the house it's fine do not be and if you don't like people if you don't want people to, to join your family fine but make it fair if you don't want your husband's family in your house then you should also make it clear that no family no 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 one from your family is allowed in your space so balancing and understanding that your husband's family is also your family all right um another thing um is to is to avoid speaking about issues from the other family with the other family let's say there is something happening with your husband's family um don't really go on about telling your 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 family about things with your husband's family because they are also your family and uh, remember um your family are not really bound to that family so they can go on and judge and do blah 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 but um which does not help so 
learn to keep uh, issues from your family and your family issues as your husband's family and their if they are within their family don't bring those things uh, around like yeah just take it easy with all the family also your your in-laws do not complain your husband or or your wife to your to your to your family <laughs> that's where the issue comes in you are likely to forgive him if he has done something wrong but trust me let's say if let me just use an example of of boss um to tell you that um, me if i hear something about someone dating my cousin i don't like that person i will not talk to him so unless it's a really really life-threatening situation you don't go around um, telling your your sisters how broke your husband is how broke your wife is how how bad your husband is unless maybe there is um, abuse involved of course abuse let's speak up there is no pretending there i do not i do not tolerate abuse personally i was never abused and i'm not going to to tolerate abuse but if it's things like financial matters or family matters your husband's family matters do not discuss those things with your with your other family that's how you hand you maintain a good relationship with your in-laws yeah i think um i hope i, I made this this video short and brief i it's basically just to 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 advise each other as wives that um we should we should marriage um does not come easy and your in-laws are part of marriage so you should try by all means to to balance situations do not be the kind that does not talk about talk to their mother-in-laws you know those things uh, just try to balance and be fair and this like if i'm going to the north and i bought maybe cooking oil to to take to Wondombe. at least if i'm going to to my husband's mom to, to my husband mother to my husband to, to my husband's mother's house if it makes sense you should also take cooking oil there don't be this person who is as uh, pumping things to your side and leaving the other ones out or you are that kind of person when your husband is saying mm, i need to help out my auntie blah 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 you are angry but when it comes to your sister wanting something it's a big deal so we should just balance if you are married if you are married remember you now have five families and you should treat all family all families equally do not take sides do not be biased do not be controlling what you ask them when he wants to 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 do something in favor of the other family these are some of the things visiting if do not be that 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 wife or that husband who does not like uh, when it's time to visit the other side of the family so we should always go to other bed. but when you say let's go by um by or or, or to, to to say hello to my mother then you are all over like you are not going just be fair if it's if you are not going to your to your in-laws places you may as well not complain no, you you may as well not go to to your side of the family just balance things yeah that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry family i actually forgot to to make a conclusion of our video so please don't forget to subscribe and comment down below on on our today's topic and also yeah just stay tuned for more videos and see you on our next one